Tough Foundation. More kickboxing action for you here on a Friday afternoon at the fights in the fight for life. Broadcasting live on AVTV Live and the Digital Broadcasting TV Network and the power of voices.com. AJ Richard! AJ Richard Richards with a uh, a weight of 152 pounds and a record of one and two. So another couple of young kickboxing fighters stepping into the ring, uh, fighting for their respective clubs and boxing gyms. We're going to see another great kickboxing action about ready to start here. As we will be turning to Barry You don't want to shoot foot Cunningham's uh, fighters and coming we will, in. Uh, be referring to him as he calls the fighters to the middle of the ring for the next fight coming up. I'm going to so, go with the red corner. So now these fights, Jeff, these go. fights are a little more This next bout is scheduled for three. Fights under their Ten belt. rounds in the welterweight division. The man in charge of the action once the bell sounds. The Shy Rex Subkit Pole. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my right, wearing the black trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at 153 pounds even. He is undefeated. Three wins, no defeats out of Delano, California. Here is Jefferson Bunning. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner to my left, wearing the black trunks with the yellow trim. He weighed in at 152 pounds. He's fighting in his fourth fight from the Janjira Fitness Club and Sugarfoot from Woodland Hills, California. Here is A.J. Richard. As the fighters are brought to the middle of the ring now for the final instructions by the referee, this is an IKF sanctioned event. Boxing for the BC Boxing Club here at the Burbank Marriott. We're about ready for our third fight here in kickboxing between Benang and Richards. Richards in the black with the gold trim and Benang in the black with the red trim. They got a little experience under their belt and we're about ready to start the fight here in kickboxing. As they touch gloves and they start meeting, immediately they start kicking. Try a big roundhouse kick, and they has the opportunity uh, to get up. Nice, uh, nice round kick there. Nice kick right in front of us. On they're fighting now. They're boxing on the ring. They're tying each other up pretty good here. Tying each other real well. Right in front of us here in the ring as they move to the center of the ring, looking to make that first kick. Kick to the shins and just a little bit short on that. Jefferson. Richards right there. Nice the roundhouse kick. He missed. Caught his leg and dropped him with the left. Yeah, but, but that wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't a knockdown. So a nice little straightforward kick. Left and right to the front. Now they tied each other up on the ropes right in front of us as we move again back to the center of the ring. You'll see and notice that uh, in kickboxing they circle a little more to the left and right than they do in boxing. Trying a nice straight kick, a left kick to the front, a roundhouse kick, and a right punch. So yeah, so these fighters are a little more experienced and a little more precise. Um, I think they're a little wild to me, um, but they do have a little bit more skill than the last fighters. I think they need to focus on uh, their movement. Oh, beautiful kick. Oh, yes. A right kick to the head and a left. He's out. Knocked him out. He's getting the He's count now, out. right now. Right in front of him. That's it. The fight's over. Knockdown. First round by Benang. That was a left kick that was awesome to the head. That connected. That all it takes is one big kick. But, you know, he had the ability to follow up with a left straight lead at the same time. Yeah. The doctors are in the ring right now checking Richards. We, we, we hope that he's okay. But that was a beautiful technique kick to the back of the head, followed by a left straight, straight left. See, in kickboxing, it happens in a different form, not just with the hands. It you know, Jesse, with the feet. Jesse, you know what that's like? That's like getting hit with a truck. Well, that we kid. heard it. We're 10 feet away. And we yeah, heard he, that. Almost, he almost ended up in our lap. Uh, he that's went what down happened. fast, real fast. 
So all it takes is one kick to the head. And and the difference between the amateur. He's all, he's all right. The difference between the amateur and pros, the pros don't wear headgear. That's right. You get killed real fast in this well, Thankfully, he had the headgear you know, on is, to protect him. This is in Tiddly Wings. This afternoon. Lou Pizarro is here with us. MC Lou, that was a that was a heck, a heck, a heck of a shot, wasn't it? I got to tell you, that was phenomenal. He really dazed him, and that was pretty devastating. And uh, I'm hoping he's okay. That's how bad it was. Well, the doctors are still working on him right here in front of us on the stool. He stood up, and so they're looking at him. He was dazed and confused for sitting right here in front of us. He's walking it off. I hope he's okay. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That was a great left kick yeah, and a left straight jab to the head. Absolutely. Insane. Very, very. See, kickboxing is a little different than, than regular boxing because the legs are stronger than the arms. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, oh, yeah. one minute, 20 Let's hear the call. Round number one, referee Vichai. Subtick Bull steps the bout for the winner by KO out of the blue corner, Jefferson Banong. Kick.